Bitcoin is flashing multiple historical signals today that are pointing to the next direction where we will be going over the next couple of days. And I'm going to show you what this means and which levels we need to watch right now. So if you think that's interesting, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, like this video and also activate the bell to never miss out on these important updates. And now let's directly get started because I'm running already late here for this video and still need to get this out today. So we start off here on the daily chart. So we see Bitcoin now a little bit correcting. Um, that could have something to do with that soon the US markets are open. But usually in the, over the last couple of days, we saw that Bitcoin actually was running during the US session. Uh, but these patterns change every couple of weeks. Could be that it's again time for a change up. Let's see how this is going to play out. For now, we are still holding slightly above the mid range. If we would lose the mid range here on, on daily at $66,000, uh, that would be a bearish sign. And also uh, losing here uh, the, which indicator was this again? Uh, the 20 moving average in red. If we would get rejected from there, that would be also bearish and would open us up for continuation to the downside. So again, I don't believe that this is going to happen here. And I want to show you the first indication or the first signal that is flashing here, which has not flashed in months, that is telling me that we're actually going in the opposite direction to the upside. So and that is here on the daily, the MACD, because the first time in over a month, so basically five to six weeks, uh, we are for the first time flashing green again. Let's have a look what happened the last time that we flashed green here. Have a look at this. So we we were flashing green here. And look, same scenario what we have right now. 50 and 20 moving average giving us a false death cross and making here a bullish cross again after some sideways consolidation and then we get a leg to the upside consolidate get another leg to the upside and I expect something similar to be happening here again um, over the next coming days then we potentially get some consolidation here within the um, bull flag and then here in the first week of May, we get the move to the upside, either in direction of the resistance or we will get through this and go actually above the resistance. Something else that is adding fuel to this is that the ETF inflows for three days in a row are again positive. We have to see what's happening today because um, here GBTC is ramping up again um, the outflow. So if we would have had like 700 or 500 um, Bitcoins leaving GBTC and at 1000, of course, it would have looked more or less like the other two days before, but this was at least for yesterday, not the case. So let's see what's happening today. Uh, when we are going here to this for hourly chart, here's something else really interesting that I wanted to show you guys. And uh, that's also pointing to the fact that Bitcoin should go to the upside. You see here the blue and the white dot. Every time when we have a blue dot, Bitcoin is afterwards going down. When we have a white dot, afterwards Bitcoin is going to the upside. And you, you can go back here as far as you want, you know, so it's always the same thing here. Literally called the top, literally called the bottom, you know. So here again, a top with a short lived correction before we went up again. Here again, basically called the bottom, you know, so went up again, caught the top section here, went down again, and so on and, and so on. And now, as you can see, we have another white dot, which means we are going here to the upside. So what is the blue and the white dot? This is full, uh, these are moon phases, the new moon and full moon. Every time when we have a full moon, the price um, in every asset is going up. When we have a new moon, we are correcting to the downside. Compare this with um, the, the water tides. You know, so when um, tide is rising, so don't, uh, yeah, so actually that, that is a bad example because I don't know in which moon cycle we have tide going down and when going up. So that was a bad example because I actually don't know, you know, so but there is some correlation between the tides. You know, I think if it's a full moon, tide is low, 
and on a new moon tide is high, something like this or the other way around, you know, so and it's here basically the same thing, you know, so you see when prices are high and we're getting um, a new moon, we are going down. When prices are low and we get a full moon, prices are going up. And here we see the same thing. And at the same time, we are trading here in this uh, symmetrical tri triangle um, that is poised to break out. We are scratching right now here at the resistance of it uh, for the last couple of hours, uh, basically for the last two days. And now we got the first real rejection from it. But we are again uh, here over $66,000 which makes me quite bullish on a potential breakout um, over, let's say, the next 12 hours potentially. Something else that, that I want to point out here is that we are also forming here a potential W pattern, as you can see. So for this coming into fruition, we only need to break here a little bit higher. So, but of course, here's something else that I want to show you guys. And this is this resistance line here. That's basically the neckline of this W pattern needs to break. And that would give us a technical target again of $84,792. Remember, I gave you some chart patterns that were pointing already um, to targets of $82,000, $83,000. This one, if we are getting um, a breakout out of this W pattern, this would point to almost $85,000. So will this happen tomorrow? No, definitely not. Um, but uh, let it be some point in May, maybe June, uh, that, that is um, a time span where I would expect prices like this. But in the meantime, you can definitely watch here um, this W pattern and you can also trade a break above the, neck, uh, the downward sloping trend line of this symmetrical triangle. And as you know, I'm already in a, in a, in a trade in Bitcoin right now. So, and based what I found here, I might actually raise my take profit point at least to $72,700 to the neckline because I expect a retest um, in the next 10 days-ish um, to be happening here. So, there is no reason for me to start closing the trade um, when so many things are in alignment for a move um, above $70,000 here for uh, Bitcoin. When we are moving then here on to the 30 minutes time frame, here you see now why I said watch this green box here because between yesterday and today we dipped now um, how many times into this? Uh, four, six, eight times. So you had eight times the opportunity to long from here um, and you had at least um, four times the opportunity uh, to long while we are above this downward sloping trend line. So you had plenty of opportunity to, to, to long Bitcoin here. Uh, it is still not too late, you know, to, to do this. I would still long it if you're not in it. Uh, but again, if you want to play it super, super safe, do it from $66,400. And then you can trade this to $72,700 um, to the target of our W pattern that I have just shown you on the four hourly chart. Now, when we're going to the one hourly chart, also here, we can mark out, let me actually parallel channel here. So here, that is our trading range right now that we are in, that we are respecting. And while we are bouncing up and down in this range, you know, so that is perfect for every scalper out there. So um, I'm not a real scalper anymore. I don't have the time for that. But if I would be, that would be um, the zone that I would be trading right now from 65,763 to $67,121 here. Um, something that you should be aware of is that um, if you're not able to long from the bottom here and we are so close to, to the middle line, I would not, uh, not long from... Um, in between, you know, so I would wait that we break above the middle line to, to long. And then the last point where you want to long from would be a break above here the top area at $67,200 approximately before we have our move to potentially $72,000. Here on the lower time frames, on the one hourly chart, um, the indicators are a little bit indecisive right now. So I would not say that they're inherently bearish. Uh, but we can definitely observe a small downtrend here. Uh, even though I would say um, I'm not really concerned about that because we see how aggressively this small uh, correction was already bought up here in the last hour. You know, so we went here 
300, $400 almost to the downside. And in the last um, 30 minutes-ish, it, it was all bought up again. So um, I'm not really concerned about uh, that short-lived move here to the downside um, to maybe just liquidate uh, some people here. Let's actually have a look. Something else that we can observe here is that on the four hourly chart, all the indicators moving to the downside. So here's not um, so much room left to hit the bottom on a stochastic where we will see here again a bounce back to the upside and of course create a buy signal. The MACD um, is, when it comes to the signal and the trend line, intertwined, which is also a sign of um, consolidation instead of a move to the downside, even though we have red candles. And the RSI is still above 50 here on the four hourly. And as long as we are above 50 and above the 200 EMA, uh, we don't need to be uh, concerned here or worried um, when it comes to the Bitcoin price action because the 200 also gives you always an opportunity historically um, to long a Bitcoin. You know? So as long as we're not dropping below the 50, uh, you can long from the 202 and your stop loss would be just below the 50 moving average here. So that is also a way how, how you can play this. And as I told you guys, we're getting really close here to a golden cross. And once we're getting this golden cross, which is happening tomorrow, potentially, we will see Bitcoin breaking out here to the upside. Mark my words, you know, so I'm pretty accurate um, especially over the last couple of weeks and this is also reflecting in my trades and I'm going to show you here also in a moment. So when we're looking at liquidation levels uh, here we basically cleaned out here this level um, yeah, and went not lower than that so we just cleaned out here this small liquidity so it was like oh it was not so small it was like 200 million dollars that, that we took out there in long liquidations which is fine and also enough liquidity grabbed to move here back up and here to the upside, uh, $67,400 is the next um, liquidation level on the short side. And we have also a lot of sell orders, um, not a lot, but some sell orders stacked there, uh, which should act as a wall to prevent price to go higher from here. So once we are breaking through this, this will also trigger again um, a small short squeeze to the upside potentially to 68, uh, 68, 400, something like this. I found also something else I wanted to show you guys, which makes me also extremely bullish right now. And that is that big Bitcoin whales keep accumulating at these price levels that we are at right now. So, and I found here uh, this, web, this website um, where you see uh, here uh, coins 1000 to 10,000. Then you have here the yellow line, you know, so the yellow line represents the wallets with one to 10,000 Bitcoin. Um, and you see this line is still going up. Um, while we are at these price levels and these people represent 25% of all Bitcoins in circulation, which is insane, you know, so, and you can just call it smart money, you know, if they have so many coins, you know, they have at least $60 million or more, this is smart money, you know, so, and you want to follow smart money. You don't want to follow dumb money. You want to follow what these smart people do that accumulated a lot of wealth and they're accumulating at these prices, which is also telling you that if you have a long time horizon, you will make money if you just not panic sell and paper hand um, basically your, your assets here, you know? So, and you see also here highest crowd bullish bias since all-time high week in early March. And that was just recently you know so look at this um here that that level was the last time seen before we went into the autumn high uh, that we created yeah no actually we are even higher than from the autumn high if you compare it you know so and then here the basically second top was getting close to where we are at right now and they're still accumulating at these prices so which is pretty insane and guys don't forget, if you want to trade, especially the trades that I'm giving you here absolutely for free and are highly profitable as I'm going to show you in a second, trade with me on Bybit, still get $30,000 in deposit bonuses or on Marjax uh, without any KYC. And if you cannot use Bybit, go to BitGet or Famex. On Famex, you still get uh, up to $17,000 in deposit bonuses 
Um, and also on Fairdesk, $120,000 in uh, bonuses, the highest bonus in the industry. And you get all these links here in the description below or um, under the pinned comment. So definitely go and check this out. And now I just have a quick look on my trades here. You see here on Margex, I'm up 176%. Uh, $1,400 approximately on uh, Femex. I'm up um, $500, uh, 152% on my fetch trade, uh, which was of course higher earlier. You know, I was already at like at seven, $800 here at the highest point. Um, and on Bybit also, uh, basically all my trades are um, profitable overall. So Bitcoin is the first time here now negative again since a long time. Uh, I actually might add here to my Bitcoin long, if I'm honest. No, I, I actually want to add here a little bit. Not a lot. Let's add um, another $350 or something. So now if we go to 69, I make a nice, uh, nice amount here. So you see here, um, I'm overall still highly profitable on all my trades. You know, I'm here like $1,500 in minus, but I'm up over four thousand um, dollars so i'm up like three thousand uh, dollars on bybit approximately so now let's talk about altcoins because also here we have interesting developments and that's why um, my portfolio is growing again the bitcoin dominance broke 55 percent even though bitcoin is going up slightly today um, so and that's of course really nice to see that uh, people rotating from bitcoin into altcoins again i still believe that we're gonna see another break above 55 percent if Bitcoin turns around and wants to go in the direction of 70%, especially if we get a violent breakout um, in the Bitcoin price action, which could be happening um, over the next 12 hours. You know, just that you're aware of that. I, that's definitely in the cards in the next 12 hours to get a violent breakout. And that will reflect and also in the Bitcoin dominance. Um, but long term, you know, so once Bitcoin starts to consolidate in the summer hole, which starts basically in um, five weeks, uh, I expect the dominance to massively break down here and start the real altcoin season. You know, so we also see this here in the total market cap. Remember, I told you once this candle starts to push up here and we close somewhere around $2.5 uh, $2 trillion, that this will be a reversal pattern or continuation pattern, whatever you want to call that. You know, so, and we should see then here um, a move in direction of $3 trillion and also break $3 trillion and move higher from here. When we're looking at Ethereum, um, we were able to break uh, $3,264, but now get again rejected from there. Uh, we are still above the Monday high, which is inherently a really, really good sign because as long as we are above the Monday high, you can long Ethereum from here. If you want to be, again, super, super safe, do it from $3,264 with a 15-minute candle close. Um, and I also want to point out here, I don't want to forget this, that we have here a small rising wedge on Ethereum on this one hourly chart. So but I'm not really concerned about that unless uh, we would break here under $3,230 approximately. Because then we maybe see this playing out and Ethereum will go all the way down to $3,150, which would be the technical target of this rising wedge here. Um, so once we lose the Monday high, you can technically short scalp this, which I'm not recommending. We are in a bull run. We are in an uptrend. I'm never recommending shorting in an uptrend. But if you are that degenerate and want to do that and want to really get every dollar in this crazy market, Technically, you, you you could do this, you know, from the Monday high around $3,240. On the daily chart, things are looking different. And that's why, like I said, only scalp uh, short this. Don't try to hold this. Here, we are seeing now what I was telling you for a while, that once this falling wedge is breaking out, that we start moving up here. And this is exactly what's happening right now. Uh, here, um, over the next... Two, three days, I would expect some consolidation in this resistance area before we get the ne next leg um, up here to the upside, um, especially with the stochastic being quite high and most likely turning around, doing something like this, you know, and coming up here and then maybe come down something like this. Or we actually repeat something what we saw over here uh, where we had a big consolidation uh, in the RSI 
in the upper region, you know, above 52% and um, here 94%, so which is massive range. But at the same time, the price was just exploding here to, to the upside. So that um, I also want that you keep this in mind, you know. So that, that's why on the daily, I'm not looking so much on the stochastic RSI because we, we can have something like this here, you know, but price action is just going up, going up, going up, going up. And if you would look at the RSI and you would say, ah, but it's flatlining here for so long already, you know, so here in the top section, this looks like that it will come down, you know, so and you actually exit your trade um, here and you miss the other 50% of the leg to the upside, you know, so that's why I rather look at the RSI um, on, on the daily and orientate myself on the RSI than on the stochastic. And here we are still in moderate levels, you know, we are just starting to scratch at the 50% mark. And once we are crossing this, Ethereum should get way more bullish um, in the long run over uh, the next couple of weeks. A quick uh, brief look here at Solana. We are now at the levels that I told you to long from yesterday. I said above $155 is a good level to long. Also here we see some consolidation around this level and I also expect here over the next 12 hours a move in direction of $170 and that is my first take profit point. So if you followed me in the, into this uh, trade um, at $170, that is the level where I'm taking some profit off the table. Guys, that's it already for today's uh, episode. It was a quick update. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and I'll see you then again tomorrow.